Mayim Bialik has earned plenty of accolades, countless devoted fans, and an impressively large fortune thanks to her role as neurobiologist Amy Farrah Fowler on The Big Bang Theory. But she hasn't stopped hustling since the series wrapped. This is what Mayim Bialik is up to today. The Big Bang Theory is over. Can you believe it? It didn't take long for Bialik to start missing her Big Bang Theory co-stars after the show ended. And according to her social media, it looks like it wasn't easy for her to say goodbye to the likes of Kaylee Cuoco and Melissa Rauch. Bialik has also reminisced about her early days on the show with a picture of herself and Jim Parsons, which she captioned, I'm pretty sure this was the first Comic-Con after I was made a regular on the show. I was still just getting to know the cast. Jim and I had done a few photo shoots together, but I was still finding my footing as a cast member. Really good memories. From the first moment in that coffee shop, I knew that there was something special between us, even though I did work on a study that disproved love at first sight. But Big Bang isn't the only series that's bringing Mayim all the feels. I must be allergic to your perfume. I'm not wearing any perfume. Then it must be your deodorant. <laughs> well, I suppose that's possible. In late September 2019, she took to Twitter to post a gif of herself from Blossom, which she starred on as a young actress in the early 90s. Bialik's time on The Big Bang Theory may be officially over, but she's not done with her work on camera. Along with popping up on The Crossword Show and Match Game in August 2019, she's also the voice of The Booth in The Inspector Chronicles. But these aren't the only projects that have been filling up her schedule. Mayim posted on Instagram, Jim Parsons and I are working together again. He and I are joining to executive produce a show for me to star in based on the BBC show Miranda. It's called Carla. We could not be more excited to work together and bring you this show, which features so many cats. I guess there are two kinds of people in this world. People who like helping their dog, picking up their dog's warm feces, and then there are people who like cats. According to Deadline, the comedy focuses on, quote, a 39-year-old woman who opens a cat cafe in Louisville, Kentucky. That sounds like it will be perfectly entertaining. Although Bialik could spend her entire career starring in TV shows and consider herself an undeniable success, or frankly, retire and live comfortably for the rest of her days, she's decided to try a different role in the entertainment industry. She's set to write and direct her own debut comedy drama, As Sick As They Made Us, based on her own personal experiences. In a country where one in five people are affected by a mental health condition, it's time for all of us to step up and change the conversation. Mayim revealed to Deadline, After my father's passing four and a half years ago, I decided to explore the complexity of mental illness and familial responsibility, especially as it falls on women, as well as to highlight the redemptive nature of a family's love as they navigate death and continue to live life on their own terms. With acting, writing, and directing under her belt, Bialik is also making major moves on the production side of the business. In August 2019, it was announced that she'd signed what was called a multifaceted deal with Warner Brothers, involving her production company, Sad Clown Productions. And the deal includes a few other potentially lucrative perks, such as acting opportunities. She told Deadline, Warner Brothers has been my creative home for over a decade, and I'm thrilled to be continuing my relationship with them as I develop projects as an actor and a producer. Bialik named Mackenzie Gabriel Vaught as head of development and production in her company. A wise choice considering the two industry players are very familiar with how the other operates behind the scenes. Bialik explained, After working with Mackenzie during my entire time at The Big Bang Theory, I have grown to respect and value her humor, candor, intelligence, and professionalism. There's no one else I would rather start this new phase of my career with than Mackenzie, and I can't wait to start showing what we can do together. If the result of these two working together in the future is anything like their past success with The Big Bang Theory, then fans will love whatever they bring to the screen. Is there anything Bialik can't do? This TV star even reinvented herself as a popular YouTube personality. She first launched her self-titled channel in 2015 with a video on what it's like to attend the Emmys. Oh. Okay, it's working. Hi, I'm Mayim Bialik. Oh, I should look in the camera. And she's since posted videos like A Love Letter to Young Women of Today, in which she shares her thoughts on how wonderfully complex modern ladies are. Sometimes you confuse me, but you know what? That's okay. I can be me, and you can be you. Bialik also seemed to know, even back in 2016, that her channel would help her fans deal with times when they weren't able to watch The Big Bang Theory. So she wrote on one of her vlogs, Missing The Big Bang Theory or just missing me? Well, to help fill the Big Bang-sized hole in your heart, I'm officially premiering my first vlog entry, and I'll be rolling out a new video every two weeks to give you an inside look at my life, my brain, and how I make sense of the world as me. I'm going to try to describe my last Big Bang tape day without using the letter S. 
From there, Bialik has entertained herself and her viewers with quirky challenges and has offered her nearly 750,000 subscribers advice on, quote, non-trendy yoga tips, house hacks, living alone, and even what not to say to a divorced woman. Surely valuable advice indeed. I do like to hear that I have a lot to offer. It's very nice to hear that, so thank you. According to USA Today in 2019, Bialik has, quote, always been a writer. Need proof? She's used that interest to pen a number of her own books over the years, including 2012's Beyond the Sling, a real-life guide to raising competent, loving children the attachment parenting way, and 2014's Mayam's Vegan Table, more than 100 great-tasting and healthy recipes from my family to yours, which she co-wrote with pediatrician Dr. Jay Gordon. Bialik's also the writer behind 2017's Girling Up, how to be strong, smart, and spectacular. And 2019's Boying Up, how to be brave, bold, and brilliant. Are you an annoying mom? Do you think you aren't? You might be. I am. Both books utilize the star's real-life scientific background as a neuroscientist to help young people deal with the changes and challenges that life presents. Looks like fans of Mayim Bialik have a few titles to add to their reading list if they haven't already. All that stands between every girl in this world and her destiny is information about her body, her brain, and her potential. Bialik joined plenty of other celebrities like Zoe Deschanel, Kourtney Kardashian, and Meghan Markle before she went royal by claiming her corner of the internet and launching her own online publication. Grok Nation went live in 2015 and initially focused on contemporary issues before switching to a women's lifestyle site in 2018. While discussing the website with USA Today in 2019, Bialik explained that it's, quote, like if Gwyneth Paltrow's goop was for the rest of us. The actors went on to say that after tackling pieces for a Jewish parenting website, she wanted to continue to put her thoughts down into words. She said, I started my own site because I wanted to write about things other than just Jewish parenting. And also, I really wanted to have more ownership over the brand that my writing seemed to fall into. What I try and reflect on Grok Nation is the person I am. It's complicated and sometimes it's messy. And there's a lot of honesty and also a lot of opportunities for joy and for fun. But many people, I think, seem to really resonate with a website that is really dealing with the messy bits of life in an unapologetic way. While Grok Nation built up a loyal following and expanded to include pieces by other writers, it's been put on hold with no new updates since June 2019. Along with Bialik's career-related pursuits, the Big Bang Theory alum is also putting her fame to good use by supporting causes that she believes in. You can see her efforts on social media, where she posts calls to action, such as promoting her 2019 appearance at the RAPS Power Women Summit in Los Angeles. Bialik also shared a message on National Voter Registration Day, which reminded people to cast their ballot. In September 2019, the star took to Twitter to ask her more than 680,000 followers to sign a petition to quote, end the great betrayal of lions in South Africa. Bialik had retweeted a post from the Born Free Foundation, which, according to the site, campaigns to end the captive breeding of lions and other predators for canned hunting and other forms of commercial exploitation. This is a wonderful way to educate people about animals and um, let them live in an environment that's comfortable for them and that's safe for them. The actress's influence certainly seems to be working as she received plenty of messages of support from followers. Hi there, I'm Mayim Bialik. Welcome to my messy kitchen. Bialik is proudly Jewish and likes to share how she honors her spirituality. If you subscribe to her YouTube channel, you might have noticed a video she posted in April 2019 dedicated to cooking for Passover, in which she whips up matzo ball simis with apricot sauce. A modern twist on an old world recipe. Fans who follow Bialik on Instagram will have seen posts about her preparation for Rosh Hashanah, which include a whole lot of baking. She wrote, We from folks do all sorts of ancient things, which sound are strange, but this life has grown on me so much. In this past year, I've been so excited all over again about things like burning a little bit of challah for the priests of a temple destroyed thousands of years ago. Happy 5780! Along with her many showbiz hats, Bialik is also a devoted mom to her son, Miles, who was born in 2005, and Frederick, who arrived in the family three years later. But while some parents step back from their high-profile jobs when kids come onto the scene, Bialik put her science career on the back Bunsen burner and returned to Hollywood in order to spend more time with her kids and secure health insurance. She told Yahoo Entertainment in 2012, I'm glad that I completed my PhD and I'm very proud of it, but the life of a research professor would not have suited my needs in terms of what kind of parent I wanted to do. I now have a teen and a tween, and it's scary. 
Bialik regularly discusses her parenting style in her YouTube videos with topics that range from, quote, how to raise vegan kids to how I discipline my boys without shaming them and the super sweet baking with my boys. And it makes sense that she's willing to share her journey. According to Canada.com, Mayim admits that even though she's a familiar face to fans around the world, I came to parenting the way most of us do, knowing nothing and trying to learn everything. For me, to see people like Gwen Stefani talking about breastfeeding and wearing her baby in a sling is tremendous. That is the best kind of trend there can be. Bialik may not seem like the kind of star who indulges in a lavish lifestyle, but if she ever wanted to go overboard with excessive spending, she certainly has the funds to do it. The actress was originally making $175,000 per episode on The Big Bang Theory, which is obviously an amount that many people outside of the entertainment industry would love to make for a few days of work. But that was just a sliver of the $450,000 she would eventually rake in for every single episode of the show. The pay raise was partly due to the fact that Jim Parsons, Johnny Galecki, Kaylee Cuoco, Simon Helberg and Kunal Nair reportedly took a $100,000 per episode pay cut so that Bialik and Melissa Rausch would receive more money. At the time, Bialik told Bill that she was thrilled to be returning to the show, saying, So I don't just mean it like, I'm making so much money, I'll never make this money again. I might as well make as much as I can now. That's not how I frame it, um, but I will never be given this kind of opportunity again. Thanks to Bialik's staggering Big Bang salary, as well as the money she earns from her many other projects, Celebrity Net Worth estimates that the star has a fortune of $25 million. Big Bang equals cha-ching. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.